um, allowing us to reflect a bit on both how far we've come and how we should be appreciative of the community that's come together. I'm going to bring Hong Fook, whom all of you know, uh, a dear friend and a very capable woman in FOSS, uh, to present on 10 years in FOSS Asia. Uh, brief introduction, although Hong Fook probably does not need uh, much introduction. Um, after many years and efforts of hard work, she co-founded FOSS Asia in 20, 2009 <laughs> as a community devoted to improving people's lives through sharing open technologies, knowledge, and fostering a global connections. Hong Fook especially once encouraged developers from Asia to participate in the free and open source software movement. So Hong Fook, welcome. A round of applause. Thank you, Tosin, for the introduction. I think you already mentioned everything about Force Asia. I don't know if there's anything left for me to say. Uh, so uh, my friends and the people in the community call me HP Deng or HP. You can also call me that. Uh, why did we start Force Asia? So the reason I Tosin mentioned in the beginning. So we want to foster global connection, uh, share open technology and knowledge. I am originally from uh, Vietnam. And we feel the need of connecting with people around the world to bring open source and free software to, to the, the region. When we started um, 10 years ago, the force movement is not as developed as it is now. Uh, and uh, our original idea is just to have an event to bring people together to connect and work on projects. This is a picture that taken in at our first event in Ho Chi Minh City, 2009, we have 1,400 participants at that time, and more than 60% of the attendees were female. Uh, this is uh, what we are today. So we have over 3,000 developers active on the Force Asia network, uh, more than 30,000 subscribers to our uh, organization, and we are not only an event organizer anymore, we develop a lot of free software projects ourselves. You can find everything on our um, GitHub. Uh, throughout the event, there will be a lot of Force Asia speakers who will go into in detail of the projects. And from the event in 2009, now we not only have one annual event, we have several events everywhere in the region and several meetups happening in Malaysia, in China, India, uh, Jakarta, Vietnam, and many other places. I will um, like to take a few minutes to look back what have we been through during the last five, uh, ten years? Um, I only do the highlighted activities because we don't have a lot of time to go through every single thing or every single day of 10 years. So in 2010, together with the Force Asia Summit in Ho Chi Minh City, we also host the first time uh, MIDI DEFCON. And I believe that uh, some of the speakers from 2010 are here in the audience. And really, are you here? Please raise your hand. Yes. So he was there with us in 2010. Uh, in the same year, we also hosted the first free uh, libographic software in Ho Chi Minh City to introduce to people, designer and artists, what are the um, free software tools available to the, for them to work with. And you know that uh, in Vietnam or Southeast Asia country, we use a lot of uh, variety of software like Photoshop, but now we want to offer them the alternative that they not only can work with free software, they can also contribute to, to free software. So we have a group of designers coming from uh, Europe to come in to talk about um, Inkscape, Game, Blender, and many other solutions. In 2011, we started our um, own distribution, and uh, until today, it is a project called Melix that you can find on the Force Asia channel. In the same year, we also organized one of the biggest uh, tech bar camp in the region, it's called Bar Camp Mekong. 
2012. Since we have visitors coming from all over the world, we decided, okay, so we start an open source hotel where we host a lot of developers from everywhere who want to spend a few weeks or days in Vietnam to work on their project. We hosted people from DBN, from the game project. Um, well, I can go on. <laughs> In 2013, so we tried to work with a, a university and education sector. So we um, ha we have uh, volunteers and the Force Asia team members to go to uh, school, university, and give presentation and talk about free software, show the student how to work with Python, and um, how to um, introduce them to uh, open source education program like Google Sum of Code. In 2014. This is the, um, the picture taken in Force Asia Phnom Penh. What happened in this time? So the first time we met a teacher from India and we made a promise to him that we will help him to solve an issue which is hardware is really expensive and not affordable for students in India. So we decided that moving from software, we want to invest our effort to do more research on hardware and see how we can make open source hardware possible and affordable for everyone. And it's later on become the pocket science lab that you see today. In 2015, we moved the annual Force Asia Summit to Singapore and make Singapore the home of the Force Asia Summit. And this is probably the best decision that we ever made because Singapore, we have a wonderful support of our amazing partner, for instance, Lifelong Learning Institute. Thank you very much again for your support to, to make the event happen. <laughs> and previously, we also have the Science Center. We have a good support from the government of Singapore. And most importantly, we have an amazing team here that have been with the organization of the event. So they are not only involved in the organization, but they are our dear, dear, dearest friends. And I couldn't feel like luckier to have all these people joining the team. Thank you so much, guys, for your, for your support. Um, this picture is taken um, last week at the Hackerspace. Uh, Singapore, the Hackers Bay, also one of our community um, partner who've been with us uh, for Asia since the beginning. In the same year, 2015, we co um, uh, collaborate with Open Tech in Europe and we start to bring more developers from Asia to Europe. So we bring speakers here and we also want to foster global connection. We start to organize the Open Tech Summit in Berlin every year uh, during Himmelfahrt. Uh, this year going to be May 30. If you are around, you can come visit us in Berlin. In 2016, the first time we introduced our online coding program called CodeHeat, we have some of the winners flying here today uh, to receive the award for this uh, contest. So basically, it's an online um, program that allows you to, uh, to learn, uh, help young people to learn about free software, how to contribute to free software, and they got a pair to, uh, together with one of the Fox Asia mentors. In the same year, we organized Science Hack Workshop in India, in Belgium. Uh, we also... Um, have uh, another or uh, collaborate with Lights on, uh, on Force here in, in Singapore. They develop open source laser cutter and we um, run workshop uh, with them here in Singapore. In 2000, to 2017, for the first time, Force Asia act as an as, uh, assembly in the CCC where we connect with a lot of people to get feedback on our hardware projects. In 2018, so a lot of things happening in 2018, we officially started the Yuga Fest series in India. So there will be a couple of Yuga Fest happen every year in various places in India. Also last year, we, we also uh, started the Open Tech Summit in China. So even though we have a lot of connection in, in China and do smaller meetup in different cities, the Open Tech Summit Sunshine was the first official event of Force Asia in China. And what else that happened in 2018? 
Uh, in the beginning of 2018, we mentioned that we introduced the Force Asia Incubator, and this is the first project that came out of the Force Asia Incubator Pocket Science Lab. It's been rolled out through Europe and also in Asia. You can get it online and uh, become quite uh, up a. Uh, uh, how, how do I say it? After, I remember, after two days in the market, everything was sold out. And we continue to improve the hardware and uh, the software uh, to make it more um, handy and affordable for everyone. Uh, this is our team at the CCC this year, 2018. Uh, we again have the Force Asia Assembly at the CCC. I also uh, uh, gave a talk there. And this year, 2019, what happened in the beginning of the year, we went to Fosdom. And the outcome of this is we bring the Fosdom organizer here with us to continue the collaboration and hope that they will come again next year. And we, we bring more Force Asia to Fosdom for sure. What's going to happen next after, uh, after this event? Uh, so, I don't know if you have noticed that we announced the Force Asia Academy, but my colleague will talk more about it in, uh, in the next uh, uh, session. I think that's all for me. Yeah? And uh, I have a video, but I will show the video. Not like Harish. Uh, is it the sound attached to this? No. Yeah. Could I have the sound to the video? So um, I have a video sent in to Earth by participant who could not make it to Force Asia today. Um, they have make a video and send their best regard to the event. Hi, Force Asia. Asia. I'm uh, Nico from Romania. I'm with the Fedora Design Team. Hello, Force Asia. My name is Helen Varley Jamison, and I am part of the Upstage project. Hi, Force Asia. I'm Ginger Hughes. Um, I'm the lead developer on the Open Color Standard. Hello, Force Asia. My name is Tom Lockner from Portland, Oregon, in the United States. Hello, Force Asia. My name is Klaus. I work for the Project. Hello, Force Asia. My name is uh, Timo Klok. I'm a designer and a teacher from Rotterdam, the Netherlands. Hello, Force Asia. It's Anthony Grasso. I work for Canon and I'm from Sydney, Australia. My name is Jeremy Davidson. I'm uh, an animator on the Journey Project. Hello, Force Asia. I'm Stephanie Lefty. I'm from France and in Boston. Hello, Force Asia. I'm a graphic designer. I come from France. Hello, uh, Force Asia. Um, from Hi, Fosasia. I'm Martin from Czech Republic. I work for the uh, Federal Design Team. Hello, Fosasia. Uh, I'm Felipe Sanchez. I'm from Brazil and I work with the Inkscape Development Team. Hello, Fosasia. My name is Jacob. I'm from Poland. Hi, I'm Dave Crossley and I'm working on free uh, Libra fonts. And my name is Ben Ben Laden and I'm from the Deja Vu fonts. Hello, Fosasia. My name is Anas Tu, and uh, I also work for the Raw Studio Project. Hello, France Asia. I wish you honest good luck for your conference. And I wish you good luck with your event. I wish you good fortune. I wish I was there. I wish you the best of luck on this conference. I wish you all the best. I wish you good luck with your event. Good luck on your conference. I wish you all the best. And good luck with your event. And I want to say uh, good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Bye, good luck. Yes, and for people uh, watching on the stream, thank you very much for um, sending your wishes to us. Also, if you haven't noticed that, you go to the Force Asia YouTube channel, all the, the talk that's happening today will be on live stream. Thank you, the Force team, for doing that. Right. Thank you, Hong Fok. Um, that's really great. So, 
just to summarize, t together with the collaboration of FOSDEM, uh, we had the gentlemen come over to Singapore this year and hook us up with live audio feeds. So all these presentations are going out with video and video for the rest of the world to follow the presentations and follow the speakers. Good. Um, so thank you, Hong Fook. That's great reflecting on what you've really achieved in 10 years. I think that's amazing. Uh, a lot of initiatives, a lot of new projects and accelerating, right? Really building a global community. Uh, very important also what Hong Fook highlighted is the push towards open hardware and bringing more experimentation, innovation uh, to various audiences, right down to younger, younger uh, individuals who start playing with the hardware and programming open source.